Hello and welcome to the Excel in Business series. My name is Ken Atagari. In this lesson, I'm going to point you how to use concatenate to join strings together, that's strings of uh, text or numerical values together. I'm also going to be using some other uh, method of joining strings together. Uh, that's, I'm going to be using the ampersand uh, symbol, also known as the and sign to join the strings together. So now let's start concatenate. Uh, we've got a name here and a last name. So let's say we want to concatenate it. Use the Excel function equal concatenate. That's uh, this one here. Text one, John. The next one is Bishop. So there it goes, John Bishop. Now, if you notice, there is no space between that. So if you want a space in between, you simply um, put a comma sign here. Then you put in your uh, double quotes a space. You can put three or four spaces, depends on what you want to use. But of course, if this is uh, going to be in a text form, you leave one space, then this. And you've got John Bishop. Now let's say you want to put a full stop after this, equal to uh, concatenate. Um, your double quote, full stop, double quote, and and that's John Bishop. So you can see how you can turn this to this by concatenating. Now if I want to use uh, concatenate without using that Excel function. Uh, I can do it this way, equal to John, ampersand, then of course you've got your inverted comma, or other double quotes, double quotes, ampersand again, bishop. There you go, it's the same thing. If I want to put a full stop, I go uh, ampersand again, this. Stop. Right. Now you can see that um, with this, I've um, basically concatenated the cells itself, the cell references to get the values. So if I change this, so let's say uh, Sam becomes Samuel Bishop. Samuel Bishop. Right. Now we can hard code when we concatenate it. Let's try it using the uh, concatenate function first before we use the ampersand function. So we can say equal to um, concatenate. The text one becomes. Um, you, you always need to put this um, double quotes when you write in text values. Double quotes. Mm, let's say. Moon, moon, and then we can then go on to use bishop. Let's put the double space. Let's put the space first. Sorry. Then bishop. There you go. You've got moon bishop. So one of them is hard coded, right? Then let, let's try concatenating now. Using the ampersand equal equal mon quote again ampersand space space then bishop right so it's the same thing now let's work with numerical values you see that over here we put in a, in a text value we put the double quote but if we use a numerical value we don't need to put the double quote so let's say we want to concatenate with 5 or let's say 56 here so we want to say um, moon 56 bishop or something like that we could then do this equal to uh, moon ampersand without the just 56. Okay, I'll do another one with the 56 numerical value and bishop. I could give a space here before the bishop so we could have and a space after the moon so we could have a look at it. So moon 56 bishop. So we change this, for example, for the five. 
and that value changes. Now let's try this again, this time directly imputing a numerical value. The reason I'm doing this is to show you that for numerical values you don't need to use the um, you don't need to use the double quote moon ampersand sorry moon ampersand um, 35 ampersand uh, let's use ghost moon ghost let's give a space here so you have well spaced right so there's it moon 35 ghost you notice that we didn't need to use the um, text string that's the double quote here but if you try that without for a text value without using double quote let's see what happens equal to moon thirty five you see that it's given an error message that's because this value is a text value and it must be uh, cached within double quote there you go right I guess that's all for this topic in the next topic uh, okay oh, sorry let me just quickly with that let me show you how I'm going to use this here equal to Samuel this is how you would use it in the real uh, world business Samuel space then this that gives you Samuel Bishop as a full name. Then you concatenate the address equal. I'm going to use the formula now concatenate this. I'll give a comma. Yeah, so the comma is, is contained within this text, so it's not another comma. This. Uh, then let's give uh, let's give a space after this. Then this firm in London that give another how do we do this now? Okay. So that then we give um another comma and London oops, I missed that. Okay, sorry. Then London. So one vermin lane London. Let's add a full stop to it. Full stop. There you go. So let's drag this down. Right, so you've got all the full names for the individuals and you've got their full addresses here. So this is a, a practical uh, real life business scenario. You'll see that most times when you use concatenate, you're actually using it with, to concatenate uh, names and then addresses. Of course, you've got other things you concatenate for when it's building tools, but I don't want to stress it. I don't want to push it too far for now. So let's see, I set up a little project here. Uh, let me also show you how concatenate can be used. So let's imagine you've got a web form and you're going to send mail. So you have a process through which your web form, you capture the details, then you print it out into mails and send it out. So what I'll do here is equal, there's a process I will do this, equal this, the name here, um, concat ampersand, space, then another Amperson, last name, got that one. The next one is this, oops, sorry. Next one is equal this, Amperson, the comma, then Amperson, this. Then we will put the city and postcode in the next place equal to let's use concatenate here now it's the same thing but use the value so you can be familiar with the different functions concatenate this one then let's put a full stop after that then full stop comma this one and let's put a full stop again
there we have it so now let's see put in Ken add to gallery address 5 Beverly Street City London then postcode I say NW five seven U H. There you go. So you see how the functionality of using concatenate and um, how it can be used within a business process. Thank you for joining me for this in this um episode. Uh I hope to see you in the next episode. I think I'm gonna be talking about um you the match index function in the next video. Cheers. Bye-bye.